Time to try out the new 235 degree field of view fisheye lens and go and shoot with the camera at the target. Roll them. Okay guys, we're checking to see if I can see the bag, the edge of the bag, the edge of bag and what? And that little house over there, I guess. That should be pretty good. You can see the green of the target, the, the X is right there. Let's go give it a whirl at 30 meters. Fish eye, baby. Okay, this is totally cold shot. Totally cold at 30 meters. First shot of the day. 30 meters on this bow, two and a half finger gap. Step one, choose your gap, two and a half fingers. That determines the elevation of the arrow, that determines the range of the arrow. So two and a half fingers is a 30 meter gap. Step two, draw back an anchor under your chin, that removes all left to right error. Step three, look down the left edge of the bowstring, that's your rear sight. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack on the bullseye. That's your front sight. Step five, small motion release. Zero error, two inches below dead center, guys. That's pretty good for a dead cold, which is why you guys know now why I love hunting with this method, because you can come out stone cold and actually still have a good shot. You can be sitting in the woods for four hours, pick up the bow, and if I ended up shooting a deer at 30 meters and I only landed two inches underneath his heart, I'm walking home with the deer, guys. Step one, choose your gap, two and a half fingers. That's the elevation, that's the range of the arrow. Step two, anchor under your chin to remove all left to right error that you could possibly put in it. Step three, look down the left edge of the bowstring, that's your rear sight. Step four, put the tip of the arrow on the center of the target, that's your front sight. Step five, Bullseye again, that was even better. One inch below center, and the wind really knocked it over to the left. The whole tail moved. I hope that showed up on camera. Third shot, step one, choose your gap, two and a half fingers. That determines the elevation, the range. Step two, anchor under the chin, that removes all left to right error. Step three, look down the left edge of the bowstring, that's your, your rear sight. Step four, with the tip of the arrow on the center of the target, that's your front sight. Step five, small motion release. <sighs> Want to see what that looks like? Take a peek. Look at that, even in the crosswind. You see the crosswind up there, guys? That's a 15 to 20 mile an hour crosswind. And with the Voltland shooting method, that's the error that was introduced. I was right on the green, right on the bullseye with this one. One inch to the left, two inches to the left. Superior shooting method. But why stop at 30 when you can go out to 50? Uh... <laughs> Look at that breeze. Oh my God. But here's the target at 50 meters. Let's shoot at the bag. I like bags better. You can see the flag, center of the target, right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna try, oh, I know what I can do. I can shift a little bit like that. You can just make out the orange. That's the bullseye right here. All right, let's go give it a try. Crosswind, the flag is standing proud. It's flying proud meaning there's enough of a wind to make it go completely horizontal. We are going to use a one finger gap. And this time I'm going point on the rightmost edge. So it's going to assume a, almost a foot and a half of travel from right to left. Step one, choose your gap, one finger. Step two, anchor under your chin, three. Hook down the left edge of the bowstring, four. Tip of the arrow on the on the bullseye, five. Whew. Drifted all the way across, <laughs> nearly hit the camera. 
Let's try that again. I didn't, I panicked at the end, guys. I didn't quite go for that right edge. This time I'm gonna really do it. Step one, choose your gap, one finger. Two, take her under your chin. Three, look down the left edge of the bowstring. Four, tip of the arrow on the target. Five, not bad. It drifted over, but it dropped too. But it drifted over, over nicely to the center. Sirens out there. I hope they're not showing up on the film, on the microphone. Same thing. We got to look for some consistencies here. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, take her under your chin. Three, put down the left edge of the bowstring. Four, tip of the arrow on the right edge of the bag. Five. Bullseye! That is in the orange. It was wobbling along the way from right to left, but I think I nailed it. Let's do it again. I got three arrows left. Step one, choose your gap, one finger. Step two, anchor under your chin, three, hook down the left edge of the bowstring, four, tip of the arrow on the right side of the bag, five. Another good shot. Didn't drift as far, but the distance looked good. It drifted about halfway to center instead of all the way. Two left. Step one, choose your gap, one finger. Step two, anchor under your chin, step three, Look down the left edge of the bowstring, four, tip of the arrow on the right side of the bag, five. Woo! A little high, but it drifted all the way across the center. The wind kind of slowed down and what two things happened. It lifted it up, so it rose a little bit. But still, we're on the bag. Last arrow, step one, choose your gap, one finger. Step two, anchor under your chin, three, look down the left edge of the bowstring, four, Tip of the arrow on the right side of the bag. Five. Oh, that was close. The wind really took it. Woof, that was close to the camera. <laughs> All right. Are you guys watching me? Are you looking? Watch this. Look at that. Bullseye. When the wind was in my favor, I came back and I creamed it. But well, there's six shots on the bag, four of them at a very good height. Two of them, the wind picked up and knocked them down. All of them were aiming for this edge right there. And they all drifted all the way over there. Even when the wind let off a little bit, it rose just a hair. But when the wind really picked up, it knocked it all the way over and knocked them down. Hope you guys had fun playing with the fisheye lens with me today. I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to go any further. This is too much variation on a 50 meter bag spells disaster at 60, 70, 80. Not in that kind of a crosswind. I mean, look at it. People just don't shoot in that kind of a crosswind. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you out there. Bye. Cut!